Yeah, I definitely feel it. Oh shoot, I am locked. Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gear cars. And the car that I have behind my background today is 2024 all new Santa Fe and as well as 2024 Hyundai Palisade facelift. The reason why I'm shooting today's video is well, first of all, I want to give you a side by side comparison with these two cars, the latest and the hottest car from Hyundai. But I actually did make a video with these two cars together, but I was scolded. I got so many people saying, why not have a facelift refresh Palisade when you're comparing it to an all new Santa Fe? So here it is. I have these two cars here for you finally. And both are in white color. This is the creamy white matte color that Hyundai first introduced on this Santa Fe. And this is Atlas White Pearl, that white color that we've been seeing on recent Hyundai cars. What I missed out to do last video is I want to give you the interior looks of these two cars. Both of these cars are seven seaters, but Santa Fe has two plus three plus two configuration, whereas Palisade has two plus two plus three configuration. Being said, it has captain seats on the second row seats. And Santa Fe also does come in that very variation as well because the car is available in five six seven seat configuration let me give you a quick up close detailed look of these two cars right now let's go if you guys have been watching my channel there are just plenty of videos on 2024 all new santa fe i think this is the car that i made the most videos out of because well i was personally really interested in about this car but so was the general public so i have the exterior interior pov test drive just daily vlog like videos and also comparison video with the santa fe to that of Kia sorrento 2024 a facelift model you might have noticed that already of course this car is also a camper setup and it is actually a genuine accessory OEM product with Hyundai so it is perfect fit that box on top is actually specifically designed for this very boxy Santa Fe so make sure to check it out and I think we've seen that on XRT concept somewhat and honestly speaking this really completes this Santa Fe look the design wise and also the practicality wise because of the car being so boxy boxy and gigantic and all make sure you check it out i did my best to park the car right next to one another based on the side mirror so the proportions the sizes you get this is the idea well at first glance you might think that santa fe is not as small right than you might have thought compared to the palisade however well i will include all the dimensions down to millimeters precise dimensions but i assure you santa fe is smaller car than that of the palisade palisade is still king of it all being the flagship however the boxy and rectangle designs everywhere even on the fenders like that look at that that hexagonal straight line design fenders Hyundai just really got the best design out of it all looking super big and gigantic but also practical and roomy inside Hyundai doesn't call it seamless horizon lamp on this Santa Fe however it has a gigantic long long horizontal ball running across compared to that vertical design that Palisade had. So nothing is fooling our eyes a color wise, right? It's not like one is black and another is white, which makes a huge difference, but that's not it. We see a lot of mix of the black and white, and this being the facelift model, it's got the black grills on the front. There's also the night edition, I believe, where Hyundai almost like murdered out the car, meaning it's like completely black where it needs to be. Black wheels, just black on black, and that is real badass looking car. Having said that, the Santa Fe here is actually black ink edition in calligraphy trim the black ink trim itself is only available here in Korea if you're in North American market that will also be tied together in calligraphy model so blacked out emblem and of course the blacked out wheels too that is the 21 inch wheels ladies and gentlemen the Santa Fe is loaded model the black ink and calligraphy just top of the trim however this palisade on the right being a rental car and the best car I can grab at the moment base trim you will soon find 
find out inside with the interior and all too but it has the smallest wheel you can get on a palisade which is the 18 inch wheels having said that let me give you some of the profile the side look of these two cars too good old traditional five spoke stretching out kind of has the circle in the middle that being done it really makes the wheel look much smaller it's unique um i really do like the variation the different designs that hyundai motor group is really trying out with their wheels lately and i think hyundai is definitely coming up with a wheel of their own recently so let's zoom in that santa fe wheel just the, i can't even count how many spokes there are but it's a beautiful wheel kind of has that star looking thing in the middle in the center and it just zoom out like that looking gorgeous what do you think about this blackout grill by the way it's just really really great it really looks awesome i really love the fact that they kept the blinker portion there black as well keeping it all black however the amber light works no problem of course best of my ability i try to park the car right next to one another so there is the line right there keep an eye on that about just that much portion is sticking out whereas about that much so i think i did a perfect job honestly voila <laughs> So this is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. Santa Fe is parked uh, further behind, so it only makes sense the Santa Fe would look smaller. Palisade is just, um, it doesn't even give a room a chance, or except for the rooftop. And a little bit of a shark antenna. Nope, that is Palisades. Palisade just completely hides the Santa Fe. Parked it all the way to here, so I can't really show it to you from this angle, but so this is how much the rear sticks out from these two cars together. It might not look all that different on display and honestly i see it already through my viewfinder too but trust me santa fe is smaller car than the palisade i think this camper setup the camper on top is definitely making this car look much larger speaking of which don't you think the design is really complete with this camper on top there is a dedicated video with the camping site all open on my channel so please feel free to check that out all right time for the trunk now again santa fe being the loaded model it's got the power tailgate and you can of course get it with the palisade as well but again this is the base trim so i have to open it up manually i can fit about two fists it's a little tight with my two fists and me standing up vertically by the way i am 174 centimeters tall and okay so i actually do feel that it's a little tighter towards the edge right here but you see how carved it is in the middle for Santa Fe right here I actually don't feel much larger space in the middle right here I, I can feel that this is the center of it all yep I was precisely at a center so this design is carved in providing a larger headroom so I'm not the tallest guy on earth of course but so this little edge right here it might touch your head if you're a tall man woman for an average height adult here in Korea there just is no problem getting in and out of the trunk and it truly is a great shelter because Santa Fe design started from this trunk first the Santa Fe was designed the peak of the pandemic so that's the reason why we see the UVC sanitizer inside where you can sanitize items smartphones or baby related items for 10 minutes that is the reason why the trunk was the first point where Hyundai decided to start their design with on this Santa Fe just literally a shelter when it rains if the wind is not heavy you won't get any rain I've done it myself that also comes in super handy when you're getting things from the trunk no doubt right so yep you can't really easily get inside there's a little hump right here due to the nature being but again largest largest and tallest in the market in its segment let yourself in just a little like this and this inside is also really carved in so i can actually sit up like this no problem so this was designed and meant for the third row people passengers sitting here providing more headroom but also comes in handy when you decide to spend more time inside the trunk like so show it to you real quick one more time this is what i mean you could just easily get in like this and there is a good reason why it's carved out like that portion that's sticking out right here it's not a step it is there to reduce the coefficient of drag contribute to that 0.29 cd coefficient of drag that the santa fe has in the middle is carved inside slanted super easy for you to get just let yourself in like so well let's go to palisade and show you just keep an eye on this 
and I can already see that it's much higher. You can already see how tall it is. It's almost coming up to my butt. That's how high it is and I can't even, this is about the best I can do. So getting in, I can definitely feel that I have to make an effort like this, a tiptoe in order to let myself in. Oh, so however, there's also a pro about this Palisade as well. Of course, it's the size being, this is definitely a larger car than the Santa Fe, as I've been saying all throughout. But the portion here is actually slanted a little bit compared to Santa Fe's almost like vertically drop-in. More headroom horizontally right here, going left and right. So I actually do have more room here compared to Santa Fe, surprisingly, because it's cut and slanted, the typical, the good old SUV shape. However, it's much taller and just look at that. As you saw, I actually had to fight my way in <laughs> to let myself inside the trunk. My pants is actually just touch it on the rear bumper already. So feel like I am wiping off the rear bumper here. Even if I let myself in, oh, I almost have to be inside the trunk in order to get this third row carve where I could easily do so, letting my butt on the edge of the trunk with the Santa Fe. So I'm not gonna be prejudiced and say that Santa Fe is a winner in everything here. What Palisade wins in this point is this slanted entrance, if you will, when it comes to the trunk. So this is the pro that you can get with the typical, a little bit of a cut slanted rear trunk design Palisade gets while Santa Fe did not get. Other than that, Santa Fe has much lower and easier entrance as you saw and also headroom inside. You don't have to let yourself inside the third row seats in order to enjoy this carved trunk. All right, so when it comes to the trunk, you could probably just see easily how different it is for me to let myself in and out of the trunk comparing Palisade to that of the Santa Fe. This is what I mean. The trunk level here Palisade gets versus the Santa Fe. It's slanted towards that point, so it's much easier for you to let yourself in. Whereas look at this, the rear bumper is actually just sticking out compared to that middle port that Santa Fe gets. And it does make a difference. This is what I mean. Let yourself inside the trunk, the carved roof right there for the third row seat. You actually have to sit much further inside in order to get that headroom on Palisade. Whereas sit inside right here and look at that. So that is the carved portion that I told you about. And guess what? <laughs> It's time for the measurements. It's not gonna be super accurate, obviously, but I will give you the trunk measurement size. Not all that scientific here, but try my best right here. So I set right against the bumper, the center point right here, put that on. That is 28 centimeters, roughly. Santa Fe right here. Oh, so this slanted part, actually, this thing a little difficult or fair to do. However, I am standing right against the bumper as you can see and the midpoint is right here the center will be right here oh wow. oh wow just rough estimate i get 46 centimeters oh wow that is seven inches difference let me measure it one more time wow seven inches difference standing right against the bumper right in the middle well it still does look like 11 to me so i will keep that in my memory do it the same way. So I want to make the correction here. I want to say 17 for this Santa Fe and the 17 is um, 43 centimeters. I can easily tell that Santa Fe has much longer tailgate to trunk than Palisade. It is 13 centimeters longer minimum. So that is the minimum that I can give you that this Santa Fe's trunk is actually further out than the Palisades. Honestly, this was one of the big reasons why and biggest thing that I actually wanted to do with the comparison of these two, but let me give you the interior shots and looks of these two cars finally. Roll it all down. So despite the base trim being, you know, it's a flagship SUV, so you get this automated trunk, automated windows on both of the first and second row seats. Yep, no sunroof. It's beautiful DRL. And let's do the same for Santa Fe as well. And same thing, you get the powered window, both first and second row seats. As you can see, both of the cars actually have windows going down all the way for the third, second row seats as well. So if you've been there, you guys know what I mean. If you have a doggo or a kids, windows being able to go down all the way on the second row seats does make a difference. 
This Santa Fe, all new Santa Fe gets acoustic glasses, not on the first row seats, but also the second row windows. And that does make a great difference when it comes to the NVH noise, vibration, and harshness. I don't know about Palisade though. No wonder it's got acoustic laminated glasses or double pane windows. When you just rub against it, you can feel that there are two glasses. Yes, of course you are the flagship, sir. The dual laminated glasses as well, just like that. You know, maybe it's the car being a rental car, but every time I open up a door, I really do feel that Santa Fe's door feels more luxurious. Try it out with a second row. Yeah, I definitely feel it. I definitely feel it. I feel like the doors are lighter on the Palisade or even the sound and all these uh, interiors because interiors do play an important role when it comes to absorbing the sounds and noises, right? I open up all the doors for both cars. You can see that it has got the captain seats. It doesn't look all that different design-wise when it comes to the captain seats. I uh, kind of saw the similar one for Santa Fe. Oh, it's also got the mesh grill right here. And that is what we only saw on Sorrento, if I recall. Santa Fe's captain seats did not get that. Does it have on this side as well? Oh, yes. I cannot precisely recall when they started doing this, but this is one of the things that I love about recent Hyundai Kia Genesis SUVs. Look how far this door stretches down to. Actually, lower portion of what you see here is a side skirt. So when you close the door, there is no side skirt underneath the car. Just like that. It's the same for Santa Fe. Of course, that's the doorstep. So that is the reason why. How many times did you find your pants all dirty here? And that is because when you're getting in and out of the car, your pants actually do touch the side skirts quite a lot when you're letting yourself in and out of the SUV just like this. Now you see the reason why I pointed that out. Because there is no side skirt, right? There is no part to get dirty because it's not exposed. So this part is always kept clean 24 seven. It's not gonna be dirt proof, of course. However, it's much cleaner than this outside. I didn't get the car wash for a week. The reflectors are different sizes. Um, Palisades has a larger, taller. You can see the differences immediately when we have the cars back to back, side by side like this, right? Of course, Palisade is really overdue for an all new Palisade. It should be around the corner as we know, but that's how much, how great this all new Santa Fe is. I keep coming back to that. Do not forget the fact that Palisade is still king of it all though. All right, so the molding, the finishes around the doors is different because this is the black ink edition, blacked out. So B pillars, all this, some tiny bit of the chrome molding, what used to be a chrome molding is all blacked out. Really sleek and sexy by the way. But Palisade also does get that blacked out too when it's needed. I just found out that this rental car never took this off. <laughs> Look at that. I was like, why is this part black? So that is a side repeater of the Palisade versus a horizontal one right there for Santa Fe. And it's the interior now. This is the second row seat. Again, it's got the three seat configuration on the second row. Also available with the captain seats, just like to that of the Palisades we saw. And this car does come with sunroof on the first row, on the second row as well. The shade is open, but it's of course all hidden because of the camper setup. A push of a button right here or the same thing, push of a button right here on the shoulder will do this. Pull it up with this strap, just like that. And pull this up, you're good to go. The headroom on the third row seat is just massive. I've been there, I sat inside one again, check out my previous re review for that please. You get the AC vents on the third row seat, two cup holders over there on both sides, the second row seat using the button just like that. You can see it will completely manually fold the seat like that in order for you to fully flat, flatten out the seats. Whereas the shoulder button would gently push out the seat forward to let yourself in and out. It should go the same and similar for the Palisade as well. Push that button or button on the shoulder just like that. So this is the third row of the Palisade and you could easily pull the seats up doing the same thing except for that strap is sitting all the way over there. So there is a reason why Velcro is over there. All right, so doing the same thing, just pull the strap up, 
you could easily get the third row seat. So this is what I mean. If the person is tall on the third row seat, this is not gonna be the most comfortable third row seats because of the headroom right here. You know, it's a little extra room after my fist, but check out the Santa face. It relatively has larger headroom for the third row seat, but it's super, super carved inside. There we go. This is the best I can do just because of the sunlight and all. And you see how massive it is on the third row seat. And I've said in both of the cars, of course, in the third row seats, Santa Fe hands down is the winner on this one. Just do this. And it's super neat. No more rattling noise from the trunk. Let's do that. Okay, so it's the same thing. You see, when you push this button, of course, you are using it from the trunk. So you want to have the seats fully flat and dive down like that. So that is what you get using the trunk button versus the button on the shoulder. So the button on the shoulder is for you to let yourself in and out easy to the third row seat. As for the AC, it's all on the ceiling for Palisade, the third row and the second row seats. It is on the sides right there and that does make quite a bit of a difference during the hot summer time having the vents directly in front of you and facing towards you versus one on the ceiling definitely this is the winner sit inside you can actually control your ac using this button right here you could tap on the rear and you can actually get the ac running just like so so front and rear that is just amazing. A uh, regular rear view mirror, so-called, versus digital. I love that flag type glass right here. And ooh, you see, Palisade doesn't have it. And it does make a huge difference when you're pulling the car in and out of your driveway, alleyway, tight, narrow spaces. Because of course, the lesser there is the blind spot, it's better for any, any cars. Nobody would have arguments against that, right? So that is a huge plus. Side mirrors are actually attached on the doors, but Palisade still didn't get it. Oh, of course, that has to do with the design and all, but most most likely we'll see that on an all new Palisade. I have wireless Apple CarPlay connection on this car too. Dual 12.3 inch monitors left and right supports wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto connection comes with the 360 degree view cam just like that real time. Check your surroundings comes super handy when you are parking in a tight space, the bird eye view. And this is the UVC sanitization that I talked about earlier put items inside, hit that button right there. It's going to run it for 10 full minutes. I actually clocked it on my uh, 1000 kilometer test drive video. The UI and the infotainment system is something that we're used to seeing with the brand new latest Hyundai cars. So I'm not going to dive down too much on that. Automatic telescopic fingerprint recognition system over there as well. That middle part is actually carved in like that. Two wireless charging pads and a little cut right there for your wired connection should you ever need one and gigantic cup holders. It just goes on and on. And this vertically opening armrest that you can actually open both from the front and the rear. And surprise, surprise, you can actually get it from the second row, just like that too. And the reason why we don't see anything is because there is actually a divider in the middle. That's how deep your, this thing can get. Look at that. You can actually fit a whole tissue underneath. Massive storage right here. And also for your document, nice little Hyundai logo in the middle and hooks for your purse and groceries. It really makes a huge difference too. It doesn't end there, pull the headrest up. You can actually use this as a coat hanger or you can actually grab onto it too if you want. Ideas everywhere inside this Santa Fe Ace manual blind double pane window i told you about right there two cup holders big one even for the second row seat as well ac vents and nice suede like interior even have the dome lights in the second row seat as well you can control the passenger seat using those buttons c type charging ports both on them one over here and one over there oh shoot i am locked and that has to be open oh wow or maybe i can get out Yes. This car being a family car, you can actually have it accessed right here with a tap of a button from the driver's seat. It comes with the relaxation seat 
a ergo motion seat actually. So you can use that button for the ergo motion seats. So it actually uses the air to fill it up and kind of relax your body. You can see that it's got the calligraphy trim tag right there. No big surprise, just the good old rear view mirror right there. No digital center mirror, unlike Santa Fe's. And that is also the same case for the dome light. And there is no built-in cam 2.0, which also records voices now, unlike Santa Fe's. All right, so the design interior, I actually do also have a thorough review of the Palisade inside out, including the drives. So make sure you check it out on that video. And the second row seat of the Palisade, nothing big, nothing out of the ordinary. There still is two cup holders, but ooh, yep. It's not as big as Santa Fe's, we can see that, right? There we go. There is the AC vent in the center, just like that. The seat charging ports on the seats though, one on the passenger seat and one on the driver's seat as well. 